Hey everyone, my name is Georgette and I just want to welcome you back to Girl, God Took Time on You. I'm so excited for the topic that I'm going to be sharing today. I appreciate all the support for my new subscribers for this new series that I have. And today's topic is overcoming your insecurities. Okay, let me start now. Have you ever looked in yourself in a mirror, okay? Right? Oh, that's shiny, woo. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and looked at your flaws or say, oh my gosh, I wish I didn't look like this, or I wish I didn't have this, or I wish my this, my that, and it's like all we do is look in the mirror and look at our flaws. I believe this is a common denominator within women that sometimes we are stuck in our insecurities. Maybe maybe it's not on the outside. Maybe it's fear. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Maybe you feel like you're not capable enough. But the Bible says in Philippians 4, 13 that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Do you know that no matter what insecurities you have, you have the strength and the power of God that's in you and that is beautiful? Yes. So gorgeous. And the scripture that I want to share with you today is a scripture one time I was studying in Psalms 45. I'm going to read it. Psalms 45 verse 11. Okay. And it says this. And the king will desire your beauty. Okay. I want you to repeat after me. The king desires my beauty. I want that to sink in a little bit. Who is the king? Well, it's Jesus, of course. He desires us. I want to be very transparent and very real of like maybe the insecurities like I've had in the past and what I had to overcome and how how did I overcome those insecurities? Because we have them, but how do we overcome them? Well, I'm going to be super honest and I want to share with you my story. A few years back, I got probably an allergic reaction. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to show right here my back. Okay. You see that? Um, it, it looks crazy, right? It looks horrible. And oh my gosh, waking up to that every morning, I hated it. I hated how I, how it felt. Like I couldn't wear backless shirts. I couldn't, like if I cut, like if I went to the swimming, I had to cover it up and it just, it always got to me. Like sometimes it wanted to ruin my day. And I had to remember that that doesn't define me. That doesn't say if I'm beautiful or not. I had to remind myself that God loves me and there's people that love me in spite of how I felt or how I looked like. And what happens is the enemy wants to lie to us about our insecurities or how we look or certain things. So we won't focus on our strengths. So we won't focus on the good features we have. So we don't focus. So what I would do is get up every morning and just, I would see myself and I say, no, today I'm gonna have a good day. I thank God that I have health. I thank God, you know, that I can walk. I will always try to point out the features that God has given me. And I would always just declare, God, I'm healed. God, I thank you, I'm healed. And begin to take different action plans. Um, if you would like to know that personally, what I did and my back cleared up. All you see is a little bit of dots but it cleared up because I decided to have a good perspective. And I began to change certain things, change my, some of my eating habits, change certain things that I knew that it was affecting that. But insecurities wants to rob you of your joy sometimes, wants to rob you of letting go of what God has called you to do, wants to rob you from stepping out in faith. There's so much giftings inside of us. There's a lot that we have to offer and the enemy will rob us or will rob you if you stay in your insecurity zone. And the Bible says here that the king desires our beauty. I know us women in any age, we want to be desired. We want to be loved. We want someone to appreciate us. We want approval. And all these things, it's, it's yes, it's our emotions. That's something we want. But if somebody's not offering that to you, or if you don't feel good enough, you don't feel pretty enough, know that you're beautiful in God's eyes. See God the way He sees you. He sees you flawless. I'm going to go to that scripture. We're going to go to that scripture. We're going to Song of Solomon 4 verse 7. God calls us flawless. Someone say flawless. 
And it says this in Song of Solomon, got my Bible, 4 verse 7, and it says this, You are altogether fair, my love. There is no flaw in you. That's so beautiful. God, there is no flaw in me. I might feel like I have flaws. I might feel like I'm not good enough. I might feel this way. But God, I want to feel what you say about me. I want to hear what you say about me. And how do you overcome those insecurities? Number one, speak the best about yourself. Speak life to yourself. Speak good things over you. Stop saying, stop speaking negativity. Stop speaking things that you don't have. The Bible says that there is death and life in the power of your tongue. That means that whatever you say, you believe. So speak life. Number two, do not compare yourself. Say that to me. I will not compare myself. That means be around people that will encourage you, that will speak life to you, that don't look about, don't look, don't go on Instagram, social media and say, oh, I wish I had it like her. I wish like, like her. Because it's interesting because some people that have like straight hair want curly hair. Some people want curly hair, want straight hair. Like everybody wants to change yourself. But I encourage you, don't desire to change yourself. Don't desire to do things that you're trying to look a certain way or be a certain way to approve of someone, to get somebody's approval. No, change yourself to better yourself. Be the best version of you. I want you to overcome your insecurities today. I want you to believe in yourself today. I want you to be encouraged today that God says that he desires your beauty and that there's no flaw in you. I hope this encouraged you. I want you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can know when these videos are up. I'm going to try to do these weekly. It is tough because I do travel and I have my ministry fashioned by God. If you enjoy this message, I encourage you to come to my um, monthly Bible studies in Bedford, Texas in the DFW area, or we're going to be on Miami in February 22nd or uh, different places. Follow us at Fashion by God. Follow me at Georgette Rojas on Instagram so you can be encouraged. And also don't forget about my Fashion by God conference in Dallas, Texas by the Galleria Mall in Farmers Branch, Dallas, Texas on June 20th all day conference. Ready, write it down. We are going to be selling tickets pretty soon. We're going to be doing promotions pretty soon. So stay in tune and comment below and let me know what you want to hear about, what you want to be encouraged about or what encouraged you out of today's message. I hope you enjoyed this message today and I cannot wait to see you the next time. Don't forget that girl got to time on you. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.